Welcome, my name is Mansoor Natani, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the installation of Proxmox, a really cool virtualization platform uh, on Hetzner dedicated server. Now I was recently introduced to Hetzner by a colleague at work and I think they're really awesome in terms of the offerings and price that they offer for their dedicated server. They're based out of Europe uh, with servers in Germany and Finland. So let's have a look. This is their website, hetzner.com. Uh, what I'm interested in is the dedicated server offering. You might also be want to check out the server auction where you can get cheaper uh, servers that are no longer in use. So let's go ahead and click on the dedicated servers. They have uh, different series, the EX line, the AX, PX, SX, and the Dell line. So depending on what you're interested in. So let's just start with the EX. Um, I always want or server finder. Let's try that one. Uh, I like SSDs in my servers, so let's click on that. I like a lot of RAM, so if we go up to 64 as the minimum. Um, so then let's see what we have here in terms of options. We have 64 gigs with two 512 SSDs, or we have 64 gigs with one terabyte NVMe SSDs. So that's kind of cool. And this one also has a video card. Um, not sure why I would want a video card in a dedicated server. Maybe I want to do some Bitcoin mining or similar. So for 94 euros a month, you can get uh, 64 gigs of RAM, two 500 gig SATA SSDs, and an i7 6 gen processor, quad core. So I already have a server already purchased with these guys. Um, and what we're gonna do is boot into rescue mode. So I'm just going to activate the rescue system on, on another window here. And then what we need to do is reboot the current machine. We'll do that. Wait till it comes back on. Not sure if it's gone down and come back already. Okay, there we go. We're losing some pings now. Should be coming up in just a moment. There we go, it's back up. Okay, so here we'll see to install a new operating system, we have to run the command install image. But just look at the configuration here. We have 16 gigs of RAM, i7-2600, two disks of three terabytes each. These are regular spinning disks, not SSDs. So let's just go ahead and run the command install image. Uh, they have a number of choices here. So Debian, Ubuntu, CentOS, um, Arc Linux, other old images and custom images. So let's go into others, what we're interested in. And we want the stretch version of Proxmox. So let's go ahead and hit that. This image isn't supported, that's fine. Editor will show us the config for the image, so let's hit OK. Hard disk drives. So let's leave that the way it is. Software RAID 1 is to activate the software RAID. 1 is RAID 1, which is like uh, mirroring. We're not interested in mirroring. We want to stripe, so we want to use all the available disk space. We're not too considered about data loss on this server, so the host name we're going to use hetzner Uh and down here we should have instead of 
we'll put everything in the root partition as opposed to the separate home partition. So let's hit F2 to save and then F10 to quit. Hmm. That doesn't work. Right. So let's go ahead and yes, the data will be deleted. That's fine. We can hit yes. Looks like the Proxmox is starting to install. Once the file system was prepared, installing SSH server, installing the Linux operating system. The reason it's downloading these really fast is it's using a local mirror on the heads and our servers itself.
All right, now that we've restarted, set up a password, and uh, installed Proxmox, let's go ahead and try logging in. So the address is https colon slash slash hetzner01.winbile.com colon 8006. Hit advanced, proceed. Username root, password. All right, it looks like it's installed. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button to motivate me to create more videos and to tell me that you actually like this video. And subscribe to my channel for additional videos. And if you'd like, if you'd like to see something that I haven't covered yet, um, by all means, uh, leave a comment below. And I, I will get around to uh, publishing a video on, on that subject. Thank you.